vmax.com and I want to show you a little tip here. I'm working on this vmax again. Finally got uh, everything here. I think I need to finish this baby up. And as I come back to the bench, it's been sitting here for about a month. Um, I see this on the bench as I start to lay my tools out. Well, I could tell that that's something to do with battery acid. I can see it's on the frame. And so, just going up, I went ahead and pulled the battery. And you could see fluid on this side. And this is a good point of why you need to check your evidence here. But as you see, the battery has a crack or something in it that's allowing it to leak out on that side. All right, stop right there. We got to figure out why this would be leaking. What would cause that battery to crack? All right, we're going to finish this off the way you should. I'm back up in the office here at the computer, and I want you to think about whenever you find something like that, you've got to ask yourself why. How's that battery just going to, you know, crack, or what's that look like? First off, we think of the motorcycle. Yamaha VMAX is known to, to vibrate a lot. It's a big, powerful, torquey V4 motor, and that thing will shake. So that... One thing you know about batteries, and especially being a technician for a long time, is we see quite often that the battery strap is missing a lot, which is the case in this battery, and I've already talked to the customer about it. But just thinking about it, I, I decided, you know what, I wonder, looking at that box and seeing there's no rubber pad underneath, really well-designed motorcycle and power sports battery systems almost always have some type of rubber dampener or pad or something under it. So look at here. Here we are on the parts fish. Item number 12, they're calling that the battery seat. That's what it's supposed to sit on. And then also look at this. This is kind of a cool feature of looking up parts. You can see what it fit, but you can also see what it's reported to fit for everything else. So they've used that rubber pad on those VMAXs all the way to 2003, it looks like. So, I mean, here's my point, is that as a technician, you really need to go the extra mile and find out, you know, what's causing you know that problem it might just be that the parts wore out but man you start looking around and the whole every mechanic mentality is hey this battery is just sitting straight on plastic there's a really good chance it's going to vibrate cause it to uh, crack or have a problem just like it is so there's no point in me putting a battery back in the vehicle and then eventually the same problem showing its ugly head you can see here on the battery box uh, when I really got to looking down inside there, one bolt is broke off and the other one is actually ate up by acid. I mean, I'm going to have to drill it out to go ahead and replace those. But uh, obviously the last tech maybe just took that out, threw it away. Who knows? Stuck to the battery. They didn't know it. Something happened. This is a perfect example of how you can deliver some quality and craftsmanship in your work. Go the extra mile. Hit that parts fish up. Don't pretend to know it all and double check to see if there's a possibility of something missing. You'll start to see a lot of the manufacturers do a lot of similar things like <laughs> strapping batteries and rubber dampening them. So it's really not rocket science. And these conventional batteries, it's definitely why it's such a good reason that anytime you're going to service these to not charge them or mess with them in the bike. And there's definitely a problem with that, that casing because the acid is literally just leaking out of there. There's no way for it to go up and out. It's definitely got to have a crack in the bottom. And that's all right, because we got a brand new battery to, to put in it, but man, crazy, crazy what happens. So when you revisit uh, a job like this, something you haven't touched in a while, it's just a fantastic idea to just kind of review, look things over, uh, just consider you know, consider your work area. Have it uh, nice and prepped as you get started to, uh, to fire things back up to finish that job. Anyway, make it a great night. Just a little story to share with you, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Keep wrenching.